I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor with IRS. Welcome to my YouTube video. It's the home of the five minute or less video. Um, many of you have come to me by seeing me on the national news about, I don't know, 10 or 11 times. I thank you for coming and giving me a subscription. Um, you know, um, I have a whole cast of IRS characters that work with me or for me or whatever it is we do. We, we uh, look at a case and we give the uh, the person the most expertise with it but at the end of the day I do these uh, videos for three reasons um, to tell you the truth uh, to give you an inside perspective from Internal Revenue Service give you insight or information this one's going to kind of do that and uh, the third is so you're educated so tonight I want to talk to you about ways of avoiding an IRS audit uh, let, let me tell you just so you know there are ways to do this there, there are not ways to absolutely avoid that, and I'm going to tell you the reason. IRS, uh, uh, probably a lotteries, um, 4,000 audits a year, which means they pick uh, 4,000 people at random and audit return. Why do they do that? They want to make sure they're finding out where the mistakes, where the cheats are, and they're trying to find out where loopholes are or where IRS is being taken advantage of. That data is, is gathered and sent to the national office where they're looking at the statistics, the weaknesses, the loopholes, so they'll address um, all the IRS uh, field offices of these are the things that are going on. So when you learn about uh, how or want to avoid an audit, understand the process. Your tax return goes in, it's scanned. The first thing it's done, it's scanned. Your, your, your tax return what's called, gets what's called the diff score. Nobody knows what a diff score is. It stands for discriminatory index function. That computer analyzes your tax return based on keyword, I mean based on information you put in on certain lines and poof, all of a sudden you get a diff score. The higher the diff score, the more chances are you're going to be audited. So what what are what what is a diff score and how is that going to be picked out? Okay, good question. I know you were thinking that. You make a hundred thousand dollars a year. They are going to take the statistical averages, okay, of maybe 500 people with your type of tax return, and they put ranges within that these people are taking for audits. So your tax return are really being graded and judged by other people's tax return, okay, and when your numbers start getting real high, and it's like your blood work getting real high, IRS is saying, hmm, this tax return is something we need to look at because they're going really high against the national standards. How do you kind of defeat that? If in fact you have the documentation to show this high number is supported, you go ahead and attach that to your tax return. Because what IRS does, IRS picks uh, the tax returns they think are uh, more likely to be audited. They send them down to the field office to look at, to find out if they're audit material or not. If you have the information behind the audit to show you have that documentation, boom, uh, chances are that area is not going to be audited and you go back in the bin and you may never be audited really for that year. So the whole idea, a diff score pretty much is what really makes sense. If you end everything in zeros, your tax return is going to be kicked off for audit. You got to stay away from that. IRS is also looking for people that abuse tax credits. And uh, what's going to happen uh, to avoid an audit, don't take excessive tax credits because I will almost guarantee you your tax return will go ahead and be uh, will come out for an audit. So there's different areas that IRS does look at, but the diff score is number one. Remember, if you want to avoid an audit and you think you have expenses that exceed those national averages, you're going to know what they are. You know, for instance, if you have um, so if if you have a Schedule C, your business tax return, and you got really really excessive travel and entertainment, and you know that's excessively high. Boom, that's your first diff flag. So IRS adds all the diff flags on your tax return. If they put you on top, guess what? You're going to be pulled for an IRS audit. So as long as you have a tax return 
that you can verify who cares whether you're odd or not. Remember, excessive deductions and make-believe deductions IRS is, is alerted to. They have flag indicators that they know that. And when they put your tax return against your neighbor and other others, they're going to know whether your tax return should be pulled for an audit. Just understand that's the process. If you, if you have a high item, like I said, attach the documentation to your tax return. So when the auditor looks at that, they're going to say, hmm, I guess he does have that deduction or expense. So you can avoid an audit by being smart. If you do get audited, you want to know who to call our firm because we got some of the finest representation available. If this information was good, how about giving me a subscription? I really appreciate that. They keep us going. It lets YouTube know we're doing a good job. Thank you. I appreciate the subscription. Leave any comments you want. I try to get back to as many as I can. Thank you.